Morning, I just want to do a quick video today to talk about one of the things that we're getting asked quite a lot on the back of our EICR report. So landlords, um, at the moment, they've, they've got to have EICR reports done. They know it's a requirement and they've also heard online a few things about General Electrics, which, let's be fair, they don't understand because they're not electricians, so why would they? So we're getting the same question over and over again, and I just want to address it on here. And, and that is, do you need a metal consumer unit, and is that the law? And the answer is no. So if you're having reports done, and your electricians are telling you, you must change the consumer unit to metal, then that is just not the truth. However, what we're finding a lot of is we're sending a report in and on our report, it's making a recommendation that because you've got a plastic consumer unit, normally in a stairway or under a staircase or something like that, then we're recommending as a code three, which means could be a safety improvement that you give it some thought. We're not saying you need to have it changed and we're not saying it's a fail. However, we are getting a lot of questions off the back of this. So I just wanted to do a short video and explain what it means and why it's in there. So basically the regulations changed about five years ago, as they do every five years. And one of the things they did is change from plastic consumer units to metal ones going forward. Now, this isn't something that you have to go back and rip out all the old consumer units. I went to a quote last week, just down the road in Stenson Fields. It's a five year old building in the state. Um, in fact, this house on that estate is still being built and the property had a plastic consumer unit in. Now, they'd had an electrician round and the electrician said to him, oh, you might need to change that for a metal one. What a load of rubbish. Like, how can it be unsafe? It's been in five years. Let's be fair. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine for it. The building's got a 25 year building control warranty. So it's just going to be fine. Now, there will be safety recommendations as the regulations update. It's why they do the updates. And it's why when we do our testing, we're not checking that it's to the original standard because the original standard could be dangerous now. Do you remember when your doctors used to tell you it's fine to have a cigarette? You know, now they're putting photos of damaged lungs in the middle of um, cigarette packets. So things change as time moves on. And this is the thing with metal consumer units. Five years down the line, 10 years down the line, who knows? They might be saying, it's a danger to have a plastic one in your house. Maybe they won't. Maybe they'll say, oh, actually, these metal boards are overkill. Who knows? But at the moment, the way the, the lay of the land is right now, if you've got a plastic board in your house, it may be fine. However, that is not to say that there isn't other problems that would require the consumer unit being updated. Some common ones that we find a lot of are Bathroom circuits with no RCD protection. So bathrooms are a real hot spot. If you work in a bathroom, it's notifiable to building control. It's what part P was brought in for, kitchens and bathrooms. And then that changed down the line to just bathrooms. Bathrooms have also got their own special location section in the regulations. So bathrooms are a real hot spot. If you've got a shower with no RCD protection, if you've got lighting with no RCD protection, you're gonna to need to have RCD protection on those circuits. Um, not always, sometimes, you know, there's reasons and regs and every installation's slightly different, so speak to your inspector. But generally, as a rule of thumb, if you've got a 16th edition split load consumer unit, where you've got one side is an RCD, the other side doesn't have an RCD, you're probably gonna to have to make some updates. And sometimes, depending on the age of the board, it's cheaper to just change the whole unit or it's better to spend and get the whole unit replaced than it is to spend three or four hundred pounds updating an older installation. It's better to just do an upgrade. Um, or maybe not, it's up to you, it's your house. So this is what we're finding a lot of, and this is the advice we're giving to our landlord customers, which is spend the money now, get a new 18th edition compliant RCBO unit fitted, you're not gonna have to worry about it. You're gonna get at least 10 years, maybe more, and you're just not gonna have any problems. Now, the other one we're getting a lot of is this exact same question when people have got the old Wilex fuse board on the wall. Now, if you're a landlord or a landlady, and in your rental property, you've got fuses instead of circuit breakers, you're definitely gonna need an upgrade. I know people can sit there, they'll argue till they're blue in the face with me that you can put separate RCDs here, you can do this there, you can do all these different modifications to try and keep that, you know, 
museum piece on the wall, but let's get real. You've got people living in your property who you've got a responsibility to make sure are safe. Get rid of that fused wire, get rid of that old consumer unit and get an up to standard safe one fitted. And this is the main one we could put coming up against. We've got landlords who bought a property 20 years ago. They've had someone renting it all this time. They've never had a problem. Then Ben, the electrician comes over, tells them they need a new consumer unit. And they think we're trying to gouge them because they've got to have these works done. And we're really not. It's a safety upgrade that's been in the regulations for years. And these properties are that old and never had any maintenance that it's just never been updated. If they've been updated gradually over the years, then you know you might have had it done by now. But normally what we're seeing a lot of is nothing's been done for 20 years or more, and now it needs major work, which you know it's just is what it is. It's the same with all the other things about the property, you know. You know, you don't say you're surprised when all of a sudden you need double glazing and you've had wood single pane windows all these years. It's it's an upgrade, you can't just glue another pane to the front of it. And it's kind of the same with consumer units. Um, so yeah, that's it. That's a really common question. Now, you, every electrician has a different opinion on this. Our opinion is do it right, do it once, upgrade it to the current regs and future proof and you will be well away. You, you know, you, you're going to be sorted. So that's what we'd say to you. If you're having EICR troubles, if you're a landlord and you're finding this video because you want some clarity on the reports that have been given back to you, speak to your electricians, get them on the phone, have a good chat because, you know, they're always... They're always willing to have a chat about this sort of thing. So that's the best advice I can give for you. Or drop us a mail. We're in Derby. Um, we cover Derby and the surrounding areas. Just give us a call or drop us an email. It's uh, Electrical Innovations. My name's Ben. It's my company. Um, give us an email. It's ben at elec-in.co.uk and we'll be happy to help. All right, thanks for watching and hopefully we'll see you on your EICR quite soon.